might move forward. First and foremost, we are a nation built on the rule of law. And so we need to accept that this decision was the grand juries to make. There are Americans who agree with it, and there are Americans who are deeply disappointed, even angry. It's an understandable reaction. But I join Michael's parents in asking anyone who protests this decision to do so peacefully. Let me repeat Michael's father's words. Hurting others or destroying property is not the answer. No matter what the grand jury decides, I do not want my son's death to be in vain. I want it to lead to incredible change, positive change, change that makes the St. Louis region better for everyone. Now, Michael Brown's parents have lost more than anyone. But what is also true is that there are still problems, uh, and communities of color aren't just making these problems up. Separating that from this particular decision, there are issues in which the law too often feels as if it is being applied in a discriminatory fashion. I don't think that's the norm. I don't think that's true for the majority of communities or the vast majority of law enforcement officials, but these are real issues. And we have to lift them up and not deny them or try to tamp them down. What we need to do is to understand them and figure out how do we make more progress. And that can be done. That won't be done by throwing bottles. That won't be done by smashing car windows. That won't be done by using this as an excuse uh, to vandalize property. And it certainly won't be done by hurting anybody.